Okay, hi everybody. Um, somebody had asked me to go through a video here of how to restrict the domain of the function y equals x plus 2 squared so that the inverse is a function. Uh, let's just take a quick look at that. So what helps in this case here is to have a quick look at what this would look like. Um, x plus 2 uh, is really just going to be a parabola where the x coordinate of the vertex is going to be, oops, and I immediately went the wrong way. Sorry about that. Uh, negative 2. The vertex there is going to be negative 2, 0, and it is going to open upwards, okay? When we restrict the domain, you can basically pick any number you want to restrict the domain, but you have to be careful with the inequality that you then uh, create uh, with, re with respect to that. So, for example, if I let, if I choose negative 2 to be my starting point here, I can restrict my domain. I can make x less than or equal to negative 2 or x greater than or equal to negative 2. And I have two options there because when I cut it in half, if I choose either half of the of that parabola there and find the inverse of it, I'm going to create a function. If, however, I choose any value, okay, if I choose a value greater than negative 2. So we pick any number we want greater than negative 2. Let's just say, for example, uh, say we choose 3. So way out here, I've got I've got 3. So up here at the top, I, I hit my... Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's choose one, negative 1 because I can draw that. Negative 1. Here's where I hit it. I'm going to cut it right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict my domain so that it's greater than or equal to negative 1. In other words, I'm going to start here and go this way. The reason I want to go that way is so that I don't include, basically, I'm just going to have this little line right here. It's just going to be that. What I don't want, what I don't want is the part of the function that goes like this. Because as soon as you invert that, okay, you're going to get something that looks like, like that. And this isn't a function. Basically, what happens here is horizontally, I don't want to include both sides of the vertex. Because when I, when I find the inverse of that, I'm going to create something that's not a function. Now, on the other hand, if I pick a number that's, if I choose a value less than negative 2, and I'm free to do that, and let's say, for example, I choose the number here, negative 3, just because it's easy, then what I got to do here, and let's just say, say negative 3, dot, 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 then what I want to do is I want to go to the left of negative 3. I want to end up going the other direction. And, and for the same reason, just, just on the other, the other side there. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create a, a domain here that doesn't include both sides of the, the vertex. Because when I find the inverse of that, I'm going to create something that simply won't be a, a function.